back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be all about tattoos. Not that I have too many tattoos or something, but I recently got two new tattoos and I tried to film it for you guys. So a quick disclaimer, if you don't like tattoos, please don't watch this video. And before we start with the video, I want to thank you for showing so much love to me. It means the world to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And we are super close to 4,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button, also the bell button, so you get notified every time I post a new video on YouTube. This is the place from where I got all of my tattoos and I'll leave the details and the address of this place down in the description box so make sure you check it out. This is an amazing place if you're planning to get your first tattoo because the artist is amazing and the ambience and the environment of this parlor is very welcoming. First, I'm going to answer a few questions which everybody asks before getting a tattoo. Does getting a tattoo hurt? Honestly guys, I'm telling you this, I'm a sort of person who runs away even from a blood test and I have four tattoos. So a person who is so afraid of needles can get tattoos, anybody can. The pain of the tattoo really depends on the size of the tattoo and on what body part you're actually getting the tattoo. With me, whenever I get a tattoo, I just think about the end result. What will you finally get after all the process is done? You will get a beautiful tattoo on your body. And I love the concept and the idea of tattoos. I think your tattoo will represent what kind of a person and what personality you have. So for me, I can go through that process and the pain. Now my tattoos are really small. It did not pain that much. So the next question is, can you donate blood after getting a tattoo? This is a very big misunderstanding in our society that after you get a tattoo, you cannot donate blood. See, it does not work like that. After you get a tattoo, you should prevent donating blood for six months. But after that, you're free to donate blood. Next, is getting a tattoo safe? So guys, it really depends on from where you're getting your tattoo made. You should always get your tattoos made from a nice place and a trusted tattoo artist. You should always check the expiry date of the needles. Now, if you do that, you're safe. Everything should be clean and you're good to go. But what do you have to do after getting a tattoo? You have to prevent your tattoo from direct sunlight dust and from water you need to put a lotion like whatever your tattoo artist suggests you so the lotion helps to get the dead skin off your tattoo so now i'm gonna share with you guys my tattoos so the first one is this one this is the most prominent tattoo and it is visible to everybody you may have noticed this tattoo in my other videos and yeah this tattoo says ma this is obviously for my mother i got this done on her birthday and this was the one tattoo that I always wanted. I actually wanted this tattoo since I was in 6th grade. She is the most important person in my life and she means everything to me. So this is the most special tattoo for a very, very, very important person in my life. So the next tattoo is actually my first tattoo and I got this done on the back of my right shoulder and it says Felicity. Felicity means immense happiness, positivity and joyfulness and this word really represents me. I believe in positivity and happiness so much and I try to bring about the positive energy in my family with my friends and yeah I really believe in this. It's a very pretty word and I wanted something written on my shoulder so yeah I got this. Next are the most recent tattoos that I got and I also try to film it for you guys. I got this arrow tattoo done on the back of my ankle like above my ankle. I'll insert a picture here. This arrow has a lotus and a crescent moon which symbolizes purity and harmony. Arrow has a beautiful meaning behind it and you should always stay focused and keep moving forward in your life. I love this tattoo. The last tattoo is kind of a hidden tattoo. It is on the back of my elbow. It is a rose. Let me show you guys. 
Rose symbolizes love and inner beauty and I am obsessed with roses. I am really obsessed with roses. My bedsheet has rose prints and I have rose here and yeah, I love roses. And this was my last tattoo. These are all the tattoos that I have right now. I do plan to get a lot more tattoos in the future. So guys, this was it for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!